What's up Dark Horses and welcome back to our beginner series. This is where we are laying out 10 minute workouts that are designed for you, the beginner, to get comfortable on this machine for the first time. So if that is you, this is your workout. This is where you should be to get confident on this machine. Now, with that being said, today's workout is 10 minutes as all of these beginner workouts are. Now, the thing to know about today's workout, I'm taking away a few variables that may be very comfortable to you or that you may rely upon as you use this machine. And that is not without purpose. I am doing that for the purposes of almost getting you out of your comfort zone so that you can have a better thriving workout. And that when you get on this, you inherently understand what you are doing, what your body is doing, and you're not reliant upon the machine to be guiding you through the workout, if that makes sense. Allow me to discuss what I mean by that. First and foremost, I'm taking away the straps in today's workout. There are two ways you can go about this. If you want a bit of caution, you can still put your feet in, but leave the straps loose, so no tightening down the straps. But ideally, you put your feet on top of the straps so that you don't have the straps to depend on. Now, why are we doing that? Well, one of the biggest problems on this machine are that people believe that because the strap is there, it's there to pull them forward through the recovery. So as I finish the stroke, I use my feet to pull me forward. But that creates an inherent problem because in that recovery phase, we are supposed to recover. We are not supposed to pull on the feet. That becomes a waste of energy. I end up working through both phases of the stroke when in reality, I only want to put my efforts into the drive, not the recovery. So if I can put my feet on top of these straps, what ends up happening is that I am forced to learn how to push myself forward instead of pulling myself forward. And those are two big differences in approach through the recovery. So that's number one. Number two, I'm actually going to have you take away your monitor. Now I am not going to take away mine, but that's only because I need to know when the 10 minutes is done. So I want you to fold your monitor down. I don't want you worrying about what the results on this monitor say. You're welcome to check them after the workout. So you're welcome to set 10 minutes, fold the monitor down and then do your workout. And when we finish, you know, we'll finish together. But I do not want you to be looking at that monitor today for this workout. And that's because this monitor for a lot of people creates a point of, of a focal point, I guess, mentally. And it takes you out of listening to your body and feeling the stroke. And that's really what I want from, from you today in this workout is that you feel how you are moving because that's a really critical point of learning. So um, do me that favor when we start this workout. Now the third piece to this is I'm not going to coach today. This is going to be, if you've gone and seen the, the other beginner series, the other 10 minute workouts, I would encourage you to perhaps start there. This workout is intended for 10 minutes of you practicing the stroke. I'm gonna be here and I'm going to set a stroke rate of 18 for you. I'm just gonna be a consistent 18. I'd encourage you to, to join me in that 18. You don't have to, but then why would you be watching this video? So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go at an 18, just hold 18 for 10 minutes. No foot stretchers, no monitor. Your objective, get comfortable without the foot stretchers and just listen to your body and the way that it's moving. Now, let's talk about points of performance when it comes to the foot stretchers and not having a strap. Number one, make sure that you are pushing through your entire foot as you press into the release position. If you've just been pushing through your toes, then you're gonna have no foot grounded here to feel connected to the machine. So number one, press through your whole foot. Number two, don't lay too far back. If you are somebody who is always laying really far back, this drill is going to be really, really uncomfortable. So you need to make sure you stop that layback at 11 o'clock. And then number three is as you press yourself to extension, I want you to be in control, not throwing yourself off the back. And that's a big difference in approach to the stroke. You always wanna be pushing the machine away from you, not leaning against the handle, trying to fall away from the stroke, if you will, is how I, I like to talk about it. You're falling away from the stroke instead of pushing the machine away from you. And the difference between those two mechanics will result in either comfort, the ability to press without straps and return, or falling off the backside, which I don't encourage you to do. So those are the difference in approaches. Now it's probably gonna take you a minute or two, maybe even three to get comfortable without the straps. That's okay, go with me on this, right? 
This is not about intensity. This is not about performance. This is about your movement mechanics. That's the point of today. So with that being said, let's talk about our normal house cleaning notes before any workout. Number one, make sure that you have water handy if you need it. It's only 10 minutes, but if you do want water, make sure you've got it sitting next to you. Sound, I would encourage you to just listen to me during this. Third is your screens. If you want to be tracking your workouts, you can either have Erg Data, which is the free Concept 2 app on your phone mounted on your monitor, or you can also follow along on Asensei where I have uh, programs that will help you to learn how to use this machine. You get to follow along with me on video and you are gonna be coached uh, with an artificial coach as well as myself as you're moving. So you're using video to watch, you're rowing with me, and I'm able to coach you as you go through your workout and personalize your workouts as you go. So if that interests you, make sure that you head over to asensei.com slash darkhorserowing and uh, you'll be able to sign up for that program and get involved in a much deeper way into the way that you move on this machine. We both teach you to row as well as give you full body workouts that get you comfortable, happy, healthy. It's a GPP program, General Physical Preparedness. With that being said, let's get into the workout and setting up the monitor. So if you're going to set up the 10 minutes with me from the main menu, you would go to select workout, which is the B button, then new workout, that's the D button, and single time, that's B. Changing it to 10 minutes is simply tapping the C button twice, one, two, that should give you 10 minutes on your screen. And then when you're ready to go, you'll hit the E button, the check mark, and you've got 10 minutes on your screen. So go ahead and get your monitor set up. Get your body set up, make sure you've warmed up yourself ahead of time, and let's hit this workout. Okay, getting this thing started. Again, you have two options for the feet. Keep the straps loose and put your feet in, or my preferred method, put your feet on top of the straps. I am even keeping my shoes untied today to help just keep me in line with that thinking of like relaxed, but pressing. I'm, I don't wanna be like buttoned down and constrained, so I am left, left my shoes untied on purpose, and I'm gonna be putting my feet on top of the straps. So, let's get into it. Feet in the foot stretchers, grab that handle. I again will be at an 18, but I'm not gonna talk through this. So consider this a silent 10 minutes. Focus on your mechanics, focus on the way that you move, constantly learning with every single stroke. All right, sit ready at the catch. Three, two, one, go.
All right, how was it? Hopefully, as the, piece, as the piece played on, you got more and more comfortable putting pressure into the foot stretchers, trusting that you weren't gonna go off the back, and that you were braced and tight through the midline to keep you in place and keep you feeling the mechanics of the push, not the pull. As we always say, push, don't pull. All right, that push is so extremely important that the instant you start pulling, the entirety of the mechanics break down because of it. And that can be a pull from the elbow, it can be a pull from the shoulders, it can be a pull from the head. Right? Any of those things can result in a degradation of the mechanics. Our goal, lock you in place, get you comfortable and tight, learning how to push. Hopefully as well, having that monitor folded down took away some of the stress of worrying about what you were doing. Instead, put it all into your movement as opposed to the psychological battle that can happen at times on the machine. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video and you found yourselves connecting with the message that we're here to learn and that you want to learn and better yourself and you want to find a path to health, fitness, performance, whatever it may be, wherever you want to go, we want you to be the hero of your own story and we want to be the guide that gets you to where you want to go. And that's why the Dark Horse community is so strong is because we all support each other. We all understand what that feeling is to, to have this desire to do something more and to go somewhere, but also knowing that we're the ones responsible for the effort and the work that it takes to get there. And if that's you and you connect with that, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you get alerted whenever we come out with a new video and you can just further connect with this community and all of us here to help each other through. So with that being said, guys, also, oh, I wanted to throw out an additional we, I've started updating our descriptions. So the descriptions that you're gonna see below are often are different than what you've seen before. This channel survives just to serve all of you. And so if any of you are thinking about purchasing any equipment, whether it's a machine, a rowing machine, or any of the training tools that I have in here, we try to link to as many of those down below as possible. And any help you can do by using those links will only go to further support this channel to make sure that we can keep producing amazing content for you. I'd really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I mean it when I say that I love all of you. And as always, I'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want more, we've partnered with our friends at Ascense to guide, monitor, and correct you through your workouts while I am personally coaching you through your training plan. Now this is unlike anything you have ever experienced before. If that sounds interesting to you and you wanna check it out, click below to start your Dark Horse journey.